Well, good afternoon. Hello. I'm Sherilyn Moore. I'm with a company called ITRON, a $2 billion energy uh, services and technology company dedicated to the resourceful use of energy and water. ITRON, while a relatively uh, larger company in this space, certainly not the largest, but a decent size, actually, I recall uh, many pictures, as well as I've been there a very long time, a much earlier ITRON, uh, think 19, mid-1970s, uh, some of the pictures that I see of our earliest coders are hacking away with cigarettes hanging out of their mouth and ashtrays next to their desks. Uh, so when I think of early ITRON, I think a little bit of some of those long, hippie-looking uh, engineers working on some of the earliest code. Some of the earliest technology uh, we developed and pioneered, some of the very first handheld computing technology, which we ended up spinning off at some point uh, and ended up with General Dynamics. But really, the claim to fame was around radio frequency technology and building, at the time, proprietary radio communications to be able to talk to things. Uh, so one of the things that I like to say is, ITRON was actually in IoT before IoT was cool, right? Um, who knew what IoT was back then? And, and certainly it evolved and it ended up very much internet-based. Uh, now, thinking a little bit about ITRON um, and, and its size and where we were, uh, now thinking a little bit about where we are today, uh, ITRON, it, we were here and we were visible, but there was also another company here last year uh, named Silver Springs Networks, Silver Spring Networks. And uh, we ended up acquiring that company, and now we together are here uh, with you this week um, as one combined force. Silver Spring was really strong in leading the industry in internet uh, protocol, Wyson-based mesh uh, technology networking platform deployed all around the world. Uh, they're also the world leader in smart connected street lighting. Meanwhile, ITRON, we have this deep domain expertise in electricity, in gas, and water. Um, we look at solving some of the world's really difficult challenges in the energy, water, and city space. Combine that expertise of our smart communicating devices that we've been pioneering since the 70s with Silver Spring network technology, and we end up truly a really world global powerhouse in industrial IoT. In fact, collectively, we've deployed more than 190 million smart communicating modules around the world. So we really are helping lead the charge in connecting things in industrial IoT. Uh, no real surprise that, uh, you know, it's a real key contributor to energy being the third largest uh, investment source in IoT, second only to manufacturing and transportation. Uh, one of the things, you know, as we combine forces and, and something that's very much a passion for ITRON is while we're really uh, invested and love building cool technology, it really is for the sake of what problems can we solve. How can we help utilities do what they do better? How can we help cities do what they do better? How can we help other verticals start thinking about how to use industrial IoT to solve interesting real-world problems? So what I thought I'd do is talk about a few of the things that has transpired um, that we've seen that some of the technologies we can provide and what they've actually done uh, with, in some interesting scenarios. The first one, Hurricane Harvey. Huge, very devastating storm that hit the Texas area in 2017. Uh, ITRON's partner, Centerpoint Energies, deployed um, a large integrated uh, uh, grid, uh, modernized grid with smart metering and smart electricity equipment. They were ready, so when the storm hit at its worst, uh, there was more than four feet of water covering the greater uh, Houston metro area. With the smarter technology, what they were able to do is much more quickly restore power to its customers. They estimate after the storm that they saved, through this technology, 45 million outage minutes. So that's 45 million minutes that customers had power on that they wouldn't have had without this smart technology. That's pretty impressive. And if you're in that utility world and you heard a little bit about critical infrastructure in the earlier uh, panel, uh, that is a really big deal. Another story um, is about a gas utility. So Atlanta Gas Light had just deployed smart gas uh, communication modules that have memory, 40 days of hourly data. Well, a major explosion happened just north of Atlanta in Calhoun, Georgia. 
a home exploded, exploded so loud that the vibration could be heard for more than two miles away. Uh, it destroyed uh, more than eight homes, and it, obviously the home with the explosion, as well as 60 other homes damaged, damaged around the area. Millions of dollars uh, in damages. As soon as the utility got the call, uh, they send their, uh, their uh, uh, forensic crews out to help investigate. They were able to secure what is the black box of this IoT technology, and they were able to use that to help triangulate that the, that the actual gas usage, the gas line, went full on inside the home for hours before the explosion at a rate much larger, um, at a rate much higher than had normally ever happened in that home. So that bit of data helped them uh, uh, forensically determine that it was actually an arson situation versus a problem with the gas line coming into the home. Saving that utility, first of all, they were able to diagnose it quickly, which is a PR uh, interest, but it also um, certainly helped save them a, a lot of money and damages. While very much an un a unfortunate situation, it really does help to actually know. Another uh, great testimonial, I was just in Australia last week, actually Queensland, as one of the places, and visiting Cairns, which is the great gateway to the Great Barrier Reef. And that water council is looking for ways to better manage its water. Uh, we'll be deploying smart water communication technology across its system to help them better manage their water usage and, and help contribute to saving the Great Barrier Reef. They have real concerns about water that's flowing back in to the reef and causing damage. It's incredibly exciting to take technology but actually solve these kinds of challenges. Ultimately, uh, at ITRON, you know, I talked about the humble beginnings uh, from the early 1970s. This company has certainly evolved. Uh, it's transformed more times than I can count. It's going to continue to transform and to evolve and to innovate. And it is important that we all, that's why I love this quote, it's why it's important that we all reinvent. Uh, that said, I have an invitation. Uh, a company like ours that can put the platforms together to be able to enable a lot of these kinds of problem solving and challenges that I talked about, it takes everyone in this room. Smart technology, embedded technology providers, software application providers, services companies, integrators, uh, software companies that can build apps that run out on this technology out in the edge, as well as smart sensor companies that can build sensors and applications that we can embed technology in. So ultimately, there's a, there's a really wide open area for a lot of us to work together to collaborate and continue to solve these really important problems. So with that, come visit us in the ITRON booth. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was great.